And uh, wh why are you smiling? You're like having the best day ever over there. <laughs> <laughs> Just chuckling at some things. But also, this is uh, pretty interesting. This, this has got to be out of South Dakota, I presume. There's now a company that wants to pay somebody three grand a month if you want to essentially smoke marijuana and write articles. So See, that's meth. This is marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of a funny story, though. I, I, maybe some people don't find it very funny. A company is looking to pay someone, you're right, $3,000 a month to try cannabis, but they also have to write about it. Uh, the online medical marijuana magazine, American Marijuana, is looking to hire someone to test a box full of different cannabis products every mm. month. Uh, the candidate must critique cannabis on camera, post blogs about the products. Um, you do, however, have to be living in a state that, uh, you know, by law, you South can Dakota, smoke. South Dakota, we're on it. You can, uh, is South Dakota, can you, uh, do they, I, no oh, I was going to say, I don't know about the medical marijuana, what states you can or cannot, yeah. but uh, I know the joke was that uh, we are living in high times indeed. <laughs> So just to back up to the South Dakota thing, because yesterday I was like, I can't believe this happened. So I looked at their, it's called a request for proposal, the RFP. And so one of the scripts that this company actually said, hey, this is a great idea. Is let's have Governor Kristi Noem standing in front of a school wearing a shirt that says, I'm on meth. <laughs> so to back up in case you weren't watching yesterday. Yeah, it's like the new PSA for South Dakota trying to fight the uh, meth epidemic. And uh, their slogan is, I'm on meth. And look, I, 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 I only chuckle because if you look at social media, that's the response. I get it's a very serious problem in South Dakota. It's a serious problem across the country right now, but that's my point. The fact that anyone in South Dakota was like, that's a great tagline. Let's do that. And then you can buy stuff now, like bumper stickers and say, we're on it. I'm on meth. And you oh, can really? Buy well, everyone's it's trying just, to commercialize. Really? Yeah, but why would you? Eat? I mean, it's just so stunning to me that anyway. So, yeah, if you want to apply to uh, go write articles about no one is saying they'll pay you if you try meth. Don't ever try meth. Exactly. Because, uh, my but goodness, that's my point. That's, scary stuff. It's just shocking that that's the route that they took. But, yeah, if you want to go try to... Can you imagine some of those articles? I'm just... Kids don't try drugs. Exactly. Any form. See, Even if you're going to be paid $3,000. And that's exactly my point. I mean, think about it. When you think about sort of these anti-drug camps, it's just say no... Remember the old egg ones about, you know, this is your brain, this is your brain, brain on, on drugs, drugs like, yes. That was powerful. That was effective. You know what I think was powerful? The pictures that they would show before and after, like before yes. you use meth, after you use meth. And like, I, ladies, we don't want to age at all. And you would see that, like, that woman's 26. She looks 86, you know, because of meth. the governor standing by a school with a shirt. I'm not even going to say it anymore, but... <laughs> well, you're a little more worked up about it. Idea. <laughs> okay, let's go to something that's a little more fun because uh, we are moving into the uh, Christmas shopping season. This is a better challenge for you than uh, uh, smoking marijuana for money. Uh, I love this idea. This is all about, because I think we're on the same page with this, supporting local businesses. Yeah. Uh, do you think you could get all of your holiday shopping done without using Amazon or going to any of those uh, huge chain stores? Do you want to do your Invest in the Valley script real quick? We can just do like yeah, a one-shot. I love to shop. I know. I know. You did a great spot. Where yeah, it was like, shop hey, local. Support, yeah, I, I do love. I love the small <laughs> boutiques, and uh, uh, I do. But you know, sometimes it's pretty easy to just click, click a button. on Amazon too, and you know, you don't have to leave the house. Well, if the answer is yes, you'd like that challenge. Mm -hmm. One company would like to pay you to do just that. Business.org is searching for a shopping fanatic to ditch corporate America this holiday season and shop all local. The ideal candidate loves supporting small businesses and is willing to share their experiences on social media. And that lucky person will receive $1,000 in return. There you go. You, you know, kind of paid for your Christmas yeah. uh, there. If you want to learn more about this, just head to valleynewslive.com and click on this story. I love that idea, though. Are you going to apply for that? And gig? I was just thinking, because isn't um, uh, Pride of Dakota's coming up, you yeah. know, at Shields Arena? I love that. And I know we have a, a local boutique owner in today. And I was thinking, you know, you go downtown Fargo. See, I go downtown. I would buy just as many gifts for myself as I would <laughs> <laughs> for everyone on my Christmas list. We all win. How about that? There you go. And you get paid a thousand bucks to do that. That'd I be like a good it. thing. Pay off my credit card. Okay. Well, the Grammys are screaming because I love you to Lizzo the breakthrough singer-rapper. Have you gone on the uh, Lizzo bandwagon yet? I have not. I, I do like her. Well, she scored a whopping eight nominations, including bids for the top four awards, making her the show's top 
nominated at. <clears throat> Lizzo picked up nominations for Album of the Year with her uh, major label debut, Because I Love You song, and uh, Record of the Year with, of course, her number one hit, Truth Hurts, Best New Artist as well, like Lizzo. Other new artists uh, dominated with Grammy nominations as well. Billie Eilish, Lil Nas earned six nominations apiece. Eilish also scored nominations in the uh, top four categories. Uh, and she's only 17 what? years old. She's a baby. And I think I did wow. see um, my girl, Taylor Swift, uh, is uh, nominated for her, I think it's best pop performance or something like that for you need <clears> to calm <throat> down. Which my girls, anytime mom gets upset at home, they're like, mom, you need <laughs> to calm, calm down. down. <laughs> You're getting too loud. Did you so. see Taylor Swift where uh, she wanted to like do sort of a bunch of her different songs at the Grammys and she can't do it? Because mm -mm. she doesn't own the rights to her own music. Oh, yeah. Well, I kind of know that, that, that backstory, so I didn't yeah. realize that. I thought that was stunning. I had no idea. So I think it'd be great if she just showed up and was like, I don't care. I'm going to sing them anyway. Sing them anyway. And, yeah. I, you know, and I, I read something about, like, you can re-record them, like, very similar or something. So yeah. I don't know. I, I still just, yeah, I love Taylor Swift can't. She can do no wrong uh, in my book. So I'm, I'm voting for her. Uh, and uh, in case you started singing Lizzo, I have a different song to get stuck in your head now. Let's listen. Baby Shark. Okay, you can hate me now, because that's going to be the song stuck in your head for the rest of the day. And most parents, really, uh, have had it already <laughs> stuck in their heads. This song, though, is coming to life in spring of 2020. Baby Shark Live is hitting the road. Um, I, I think my girls might be getting a little old for this, but I feel like they would still love it. I think uh, one of our producers, Nora, was looking. The closest this tour is coming is in South Dakota in March. The show has Baby Shark joining her friends to sing classic children's songs like Five Little Monkeys. That's a classic. Uh, Wheels on the bus. Mm. And of course, the viral sensation, Baby Shark. So you can look for your tickets. Uh, they go on sale this Friday. Wheels Baby on the Shark. bus. When's the last time you sang that song? That's just such a great little, like, wheels on, on the, the bus go, go round, round and, and round, round. I know. It makes me want to. <laughs> you know, when your babies grow up, you don't get to sing that right, song anymore. Like... Actually, that kind of made, made me a little sad there for a minute. <laughs> By the way, when is Frozen 2 coming out? Um... Oh, this weekend. Okay. Wow. I knew it was getting close. I figured. And I noticed, because now that I'm thinking about Christmas shopping and everything like that, that, um, uh, you know, Frozen castles, Frozen dolls are all coming back. I know the first Frozen came out, and I had a really hard time. Like, if you weren't on it as a mom, like... Oh, it was gone. Gone. Yeah. Like, I think I spent way more than I should admit that I spent for, like, an Anna doll on, <laughs> like, <laughs> eBay, because, you know... That movie was like lightning, though. I don't. I mean, nobody really saw it coming. They're like, "Oh, let's just put this thing together, see what happens," and just poof, everyone just was like, "Oh, this is incredible!" I, I still love it. Yeah. And it was a little bit different. The sisters were the main. It wasn't, uh, you know, the <clears throat> prince charming who was going to save the day. It was the true love of of family. Oh, I love that. Okay, I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to show this video today because this is really uh, kind of a sad story, but it's one of those that's going viral as well. Have you seen this video? Of no. A, it, I will warn you, it's going to kind of hurt your heart, but this uh, may want you may make you want to support uh, koalas. A badly burned koala is being treated after an Australian woman risked her own life to oh. save the animal from a raging bushfire. Isn't this sad? The animal was crossing the road among the flames. Look at her. There she did. She, she took a shirt off her own back, wrapped the uh, koala in wow. it, and then she dumped water on it. Um, <clears throat> the koala was rushed to a nearby animal hospital. They say the animal is still in serious shape, but thank goodness. Can you imagine? Oh, this is just heartbreaking. And so I hadn't really even thought about these koalas and, you know, animals in the middle of these fires. Ozzy, but now it's yeah. kind of a whole nother, you know, view, too. Obviously, you know, humans are told when to evacuate and what to do, but... That was a story that uh, a lot of people are talking about right now, too. So, sorry to make that sad. How about we uh, use some pictures of animals to cheer you some up? Some puppies. No. It's Wednesday. That means we want to show you who's up for adoption. And today, these animals are from the Turtle Mountain <clears throat> Animal Rescue. We've got Duchess here. She's about two and a half years old. She just looks super fun. 70 pounds, breeds unknown. She loves to be outside. She's great on the leash, and she's done great with other puppies as well. She's been great, great around kids too. And the best news yet, mom and dad, she's potty trained. Oh, that's, so that's a big plus. So there you go. Truly an amazing dog and whoever adopts uh, her will be a very lucky person. Next up, Otis. 
<laughs> Otis is a kind little guy who was dumped on the side of the road. Aww. He's a smaller sized dog. I know, that's sad. Just 15 to 20 pounds if you're looking for just a little pup. His breed is also unknown. He's about one year old. Very loving. Likes all dogs and animals. Also potty trained. Mm. Check. And let's check out Mags as well. This little girl's about five years old. She's check potty trained too. She would do best at a home where she'd uh, not need to be in a kennel. She doesn't like that very much. She would be much rather be a lap or a couch job. I, say, I would uh, rather, yeah, yeah, I'd rather be on someone's lap too. Just getting petted. So if you want to look for someone to snuggle with, she's your gal. Only 11 pounds, little Mags. Okay, who do we have up next? Flynn. Flynn. Well, Flynn. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least, Flynn is a guy's guy. Oh, here you go, Chris. This is this is who you I need. Know. I Flynn love Flynn loves ears. boating, fishing, road trips, playing at the dog park. <clears throat> he is clicker trained and housebroken, loves to snuggle and watch TV. I hear Flynn is a big fan of North Dakota today, so you could <laughs> uh, watch together. Okay, it's only Wednesday, but we are thinking about bison football already. Last regular season game of God, the uh, right. year. So go ahead and join us. The bison are on the road. All of the action gets kicked off at 1 o'clock with the Farmers Union Insurance Bison Football pregame show. The game is at 2 o'clock. We are heading to Illinois. Uh, last game before the playoffs. And uh, we'll see how, is it the Salukis? The Salukis. Salukis. That's who we're playing. <laughs> and, of course, the breakdown of the game and of the regular season with Coach Entz Sunday morning on KX4. Then we've got, of course, the great Fargo Force four-pack giveaway. Very easy to win. Just go to ValleyersLive.com, click on the old contest tab, and you, too, make a, uh, get a big announcement on a Tuesday to say, hey, you've got four great tickets and more to go check out a fantastic Fargo Force hockey. I almost said football game. Hockey. Hockey. hockey game. <laughs> so thank you to Buffalo Wild Wings and Fargo Forest for sponsoring that contest. <laughs> All right, stay with us. Coming up next... Uh, you know what, if you didn't see Lisa Green today, we were saying that's the perfect dress for Thanksgiving. I'm wearing orange. We're planning our holiday outfits already. We should take a picture of her. Anyway, we're going to be talking to a local boutique owner about uh, some great holiday attire. Stay with us.